Hey everyone, so we're going to be building the six foot picnic table today. Hopefully give you an idea of how you can build it on your own. Uh, the price of lumber nowadays, there's roughly $200 worth of brown treated lumber in this table. Um, we have about $25 worth of hardware depending on where you get it. That's between the carriage bolts and the screws. Um, I used a miter saw, a impact drill driver, and a drill for the project, uh, including I guess a, a tape measure, a square, a speed square, and a pencil. It's definitely something you could do at home. So what we need for lumber is six two by six 12 foot, one two by six 10 foot, and three two by four eight foot. So make sure that when you buy the wood, you leave it out for a couple days so that the sun and everything will make the boards go all twisty. And for some unknown reason, the lumber companies insist in putting piles of metal staples into their wood. So we take all these things out and have a pile of staples left over. So the first step is to cut our six top pieces and four pieces for the benches, all at six feet. Now this is 12 foot lumber, but don't take faith that it's actually 12 feet. Cut your first piece, make sure and measure your second piece. Okay, so next is our 10 foot piece. Cut it in half to five feet. For the legs, I have a jig made up. And what it is, your saw may have a mark. A stop at 22 and a half degrees. So that's what the two angles on our leg is. The overall length of the piece is 31 inches from the point to the low side on the other point. What we'll do is mark these out of our 12 foot 2 by 6 and get them cut. How would you do that the first time? It was a lot of math. To get everything right the first time. <laughs> what is the overall length of it? Well, the length is 31. The total height should be about 28 and a half, if I remember right. Uh, yeah, 28 and a half approximately is the overall standing height when it's actually standing upright. So that would give us approximately a 30 inch table height once you add our top onto it. So what I do is I mark the first piece just a little bit oversized. So when I mark it, I leave just a little bit off of the end so that once I cut that, I can turn it around and remark it so that my pieces are all going to work out to the same length.
one thing to note is that if you're planning on making multiples, it's actually with this piece size, if you do it the same size, it's actually saving a small bit of material. If you buy eight foot and turn them into your legs, um, you won't have any, you won't have the 12 inch waist off of a 12 foot piece. Or you can also turn one half of a 10 foot board into uh, a top piece and a leg piece. So there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can put it together depending on the material you have or how many you're building. If you're building one, the most efficient use of the material is the, the six two by six by twelves. Next, our leg cross piece. I'm going to cut a two and a half inch 45 out of each bottom corner. And on our benches, each each side of the bench and the two outside pieces on the tabletop, I'm going to cut a one and a half inch 45 out of the ends. So just to keep the tables and tabletop and benches looking as nice as possible. Commercial lumber is just so crappy that all the stuff like this, I like to keep it onto the inside so that once you butt two pieces up together, it'll end up hiding that and you can actually keep a better outside edge. I was already set at 45. So we have the 2x4x8 by by foot on here. We're going to cut our supports for under the tabletop. That'll be the pieces that will go across and screw down, the top will screw down onto. We're going to cut them to 33 inches. It'll be 33 inches overall length with two inward 45s. Yes, when you cut pieces to 33 inches at 45, it's it works out to 33s instead of three 32 inch sections. Next, we're gonna cut our six 10 and a half inch pieces. They'll be the supports under the bench and we'll also be able to screw into the bench through the legs. Now these will also be ten and a half overall length with two inward 45 cuts. start laying out the tabletop. Now I just leveled up two pieces of board out in the driveway but sometimes we have a little bit nicer setup in a shop but for now this will work. So the ones that I cut the inch and a half 45 out of that'll be our two outside pieces. Now I like to just make sure that the nicer side is going to go down the down will actually end up being the top of our table in the end. So now that I got myself a flat surface, I'm going to start laying out the legs. We need two of each leg. Make sure you put them the right way so that they're parallel to each other. I'm going to use my square. 
mark off 16 and a half inches high on the square. Make sure you use the inside measurement on the square so you're actually getting the 16 and a half inches. And our cross piece that was the five foot long piece, we cut the two and a half inch 45s out of each corner. I'm going to mark 12 inches off of each end. And that will be all the marks we need to line up. And I usually either use a uh, level or just a piece of wood to get my top all leveled out. And you want to make sure that the top is the board is fully touching the level. Takes a little bit of finickety stuff to get the whole thing where it needs to be. So the idea is that our 16 and a half inch mark there and our 12 inch mark on that board will line up at the corner and there on both sides so that we'll have a completely flat surface once we get the bench put on. We're finally ready to put some screws in. Two and a half inch brown screws. Now, from what I've been told, which who knows if it's believable, if you don't use the coated screws, six months, the table will fall apart because the screws will rot away. If that's true or not, I don't know, but I'm using coated ones. Now, make sure with the screws, I bought some really crappy screws before. Reliables are really good you got a big depth on the, the smooth part before the thread if there's not a big depth like some of my gold ones here these screws are absolutely garbage an inch and a half wood see the difference like it just they do not work you have to suck the screw halfway through the board before you'll get anywhere now I like to put the screw in the inside bottom corner and the outside top it's a little bit shorter distance so when we put our carriage bolts in they'll be the farther distance away way to do it is flip over your first leg I had that one marked I thought there we go line up everything off of your first leg Our other five foot piece, 12 inches, 12 inches. Now, this one should go significantly quicker to get everything lined up. to the top I'm using roofing screw or roofing nails that's just for my spacers for the gap on the boards and get our square square everything up So 
four of the marks for the top. It's super easy to remember. Six inches, 36 inches, and 66 inches. Now we'll use our 33s that we cut. So now the six inches, our mark is going to go, the board's going to go to the inside of the mark on both ends. So this end, it will also be on the inside of the mark. And our 36, our center line, our board will be lined up with the middle. Screwing in the top, I usually put one on the inside, one on the inside, two on the outside. So we're going to put our nails in, same as before, just to get the, get the gap on the boards. And measure four and a half inches, 36 inches, and four and a half inches, 67 and a half. Seven and a half. Thirty six and four and a half. Get the square out, square everything up. Now take our ten and a half inch pieces. Line them up to the inside of the mark. I'm using my speed square as the square. Same thing as the top. One screw on the inside, two on the outside. So I got the benches done. We're going to start putting our legs on. Line the leg up with the middle. Now if you're not confident with where the middle is, you can take your tape and just measure out to make sure approximately where the middle is will be the two outside edges are even now we want our cross piece to be on the outside edge and we're going to screw in Same with the other side, cross piece on the outside edge. And centered. Now 
Now we'll pop our benches into place. So those, that four and a half inch measurement will allow us to have our block on the outside edge. This block will be centered. Now the only reason that we need this one is just in case someone's sitting in the middle. We want to make sure that the boards aren't going floppy. When we're installing the bench, I like to leave about an inch from our cross post to the outside of the bench. Same thing with this one, approximately an inch. Make sure to push up on your putting the benches on. We have used clamps in the past. If you're super picky about that, the screw will generally suck the uh, the cross piece in. So I also have a template made up for this, but doing it at home, the best way to do it is line up the bottom corner with the bottom corner there, and run it up, make sure everything's squared, put your square down, and mark a line there, and there, so that will be our angle. Now from what I know, it's approximately 32 degrees, which there should be a mark on the saw at 31.6. And that's exactly what it is. Make sure when you're cutting it, you cut them parallel to each other. And we'll do a check here. It's still a little bit long. pretty good and what I like to do is the edge that will go on the table I'll just take a cut out of it just flip it over the opposite direction and take a notch out of it makes it easier for the screw to go in set it down there pretty good okay so now I'll make a duplicate of this and we'll install it so if you don't want to go through all that work at home it's 29 and 3 quarter inches overall length that's at our notch at 31.6 degrees angle paralleled now I just eyeball the center if you're super picky on where center is you can definitely take a tape measure and mark the center with the center on that if it matters to you So that's all the screws installed. Three at the bottom of the legs, three on the benches, three on the outside, two down here, one on each side of the, the gap, 
all the way around. It's, I think, approximately like 215 screws, if I remember right. About, uh, about two pounds worth of two and a half inch number eights. We're going to drill for the carriage bolts now. So like I said earlier, I like to have them on the farther away spots. Now, generally what I like to do is line up with the, the corner here, straight down, and make, make sure that you don't go too far out and drill into open space there. So we have our carriage bolts, three eighths, three and a half galvanized. Eight bolts, eight nuts, eight washers, and the three and a half inch length fits very well so that you don't have too much overhang on the bolt where you're gonna injure yourself having it sticking out. So see they sit very nice. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, the uh, watching me build the table was good, and maybe you can uh, you can build one at home.